The Detroit Tigers have struck first in the AL Central. Uh, well, you know, maybe this is their second strike, technically. Although, do you really consider the Tucker Barnhart trade a true strike? I don't know if I do, but their second significant move of the offseason already for Detroit. They traded for Tucker Barnhart, a catcher. Now they have signed Eduardo Rodriguez, a guy who I was hoping that the Twins would be interested in. Ultimately, it turned out, per Darren Wolfson, that the Twins did not have any interest in Eduardo Rodriguez. He goes to the Tigers, so this is a a nice pitcher off of the free agent market. This is a nice pitcher going to a division rival. Um, Not great, not great (laughs) Uh, that the deal has a $77 million guarantee and it maxes out at $80 million. So that works out to $15.4 million per year on average. It's not going to be perfectly split up like that, as most contracts aren't, Uh, but that is the average annual value that Eduardo Rodriguez is going to be making. And for a guy who, you know, it's a little, you have to dig a little deeper to appreciate his season that he had last year because his ERA was pretty poor, Uh, but he was pretty good last year. I want to kind of compare some numbers here over at Fangraphs. What we're looking over at here at Fansgraphs is minimum 120 innings from last season. And kind of the first thing I want to point out is that Eduardo Rodriguez had the highest BABIP of anybody in that grouping. So that's sort of a good reasoning behind that 4.74 ERA. A lot of balls in play went for hits for him that weren't going for hits for other guys. And again, that's not a, that's not an attractive number, but let's look at expected ERA, XERA, sorting that out low to high. And... Rodriguez is actually tied with another really hot name on this year's free agent market. That's Robbie Ray, the exact same expected ERA as Robbie Ray. And as you can see, this next column over here, that's FIP. And you can see Eduardo Rodriguez has a lower FIP than Robbie Ray did last year. Uh, Now you might say, well, you know, they're kind of different kinds of pitchers. That's very true. Robbie Ray is a lot more dominant than Eduardo Rodriguez. But Eduardo Rodriguez did have a 10K per nine. And I want to show you the strikeout minus walk percentage from him. 20.4, that's the exact same as Jose Barrios and Lance Lynn. Uh, But let's go over to his baseball savant page. So here we are on Eduardo Rodriguez's baseball savant page. And as you can see, excellent 87th percentile in hard hit rate, 90th percentile in average exit velocity. With those two things, given the case, there's really no reason to think why he would continue to have an above, unusually above average BABIP. You know, it's not like he's giving up hard contact. So, and then you can see here also his K percentage is pretty good. Walk percentage is pretty good. This is a good pitcher that Detroit just added to their roster. I I really liked Eduardo Rodriguez. You can see here we're at Twins Daily on my top 50 free agents article uh, that I had. And he was 18th on the list and was one of the guys that I pointed out in particular uh, who was maybe a a potential target for the twins. And he was a guy, the rest of the staff pointed out quite a bit too, from uh, Nick Cody and Andrew of twins daily also had him on their blueprints or articles as potential target guys. And Rodriguez showed up as the biggest free agent signing on my off season blueprint as well, using twins daily's uh, salary model. So he got, he did much better than for himself than the twins daily model had him at 12 million. This I, I legitimately, was hoping that this guy in particular would be a Twins target. Now, there are a lot of other guys. Uh, everybody else is still out there. So um, it's not, not a reason to get uh, uh, concerned or upset or anything. Uh, kind of the biggest thing out of this is that, yeah, you know, there, and this has been expected all offseason that Detroit was potentially going to start to spend money. That, that's, they are, you know. Uh, see what else they do. A uh, thing that Darren Wolfson uh, reported in kind of reacting to this news was that the Twins did show interest in Andrew Heaney, who signed an $8.5 million deal with the Dodgers earlier this offseason. So, you know, maybe they're going to be shopping more in that one-year pool. Well, checking this out, we'll talk again soon.